Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Um, let's do your daily reading and find out what the energy is today. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to do, need to know? I'm saying do for some reason. Focus. I feel like you need to focus on something, Taurus, because there's a change taking place. This is card number 14, and 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5s in tarot represent change. What does Taurus need to know? Let's get one more. Spirits. Discernment. This is card number 10. It's talking about, and um, I can see why we have a change taking place in your energy. I have a lot of discernment. When you're, you're entering into a new cycle in your life, Taurus, so be careful what you allow into this new cycle. You are changing. There's a butterfly, so you need to focus and on what you want in your new world. We have self-love, so make sure that you're taking care of yourself, what you need to do. Let's find out what messages spirits have for you from the tarot. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? Okay, one more shuffle. What does Taurus need to know? Your body, mind, and soul. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, which I've, I've already seen here that you're closing out an old cycle. You're starting it on a brand new journey here with the Page of Wands, packing lightly. That Maybe that's why there's discernment here, is you may need to leave some things behind. We have the Three of Pentacles, which has to do with working with other people or collaborating with other people. The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The Knight of Swords is here. This is quick action. This Knight could be someone coming towards you, Taurus, but we'll find out when we clarify. We have the High Priestess. Use your intuition. Your intuition is very strong right now. It's telling you something about work or um, money even. This is Pisces energy. Okay, so we have the Devil and we have the Six of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. And this is equal give and take. Let's find out what's going on, Taurus. Okay. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I'm feeling like this is you. The King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. And the Nine of Pentacles. This is you being independent. Okay, so let's clarify this new start. Why is the Page of Wands here? We have Temperance, Sagittarius. There you are, the Empress. And the Ten of Wands. Something's been very difficult, Taurus. This is, this is Leo energy. A lot of a major arcanas here, but um, something's been very difficult, and you're coming out of this, you're going through a transition. 
there's a lot of growth happening around you and there's something here that you're being very patient with it's difficult but this could have something to do with your money Taurus but I'm seeing you here patiently waiting to drop a lot of burdens here which the underlying energy here is you doing that this is you packing lightly you're only carrying one of these wands You're going with the flow, though. Carrying around burdens. That I feel like there's there's some need here to be patient. And to make it up to the top of this hill. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Six of Swords. The Four of Wands. Yeah, you could be getting a new job. There's something, some type of message or some type of exciting news here with the Ace of Wands. Something that you're going to be very excited about. That I'm feeling like it, for some of you, this has to do with work. This is earned success. The Six of Swords. Moving into calmer water and... The Four of Wands is a huge celebration. There's something here. This could be a new home, but it's 11-11. You're on the right path. You're moving in the right direction. You may need to make a move, but there's something here that needs to be dropped. Why is the Queen of Cups here? We have the Hermits. The Ace of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're keeping to yourself about something. You're holding back, keeping to yourself. You could be dealing with a Virgo with the Hermit showing up here. But you're setting yourself free in the energy of the Fool. And I'm seeing new love coming into your life, but you're in Hermit mode. <laughs> keeping to yourself. This could be someone that you're working with that's coming into your life there's someone new and then we have the page of swords why is the page of swords here i mean the knight of swords i'm sorry why is the knight of swords here the knight of cups the queen of wands And the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's two people coming towards you. I'm seeing juggling. I'm seeing a decision. I have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups coming towards you. And so you're looking beautiful right now, Taurus. You're showing up as the Empress, which embodies every queen in tarot. But there's someone here that's very, very attracted to you. They see you as the Queen of Wands. And so I'm seeing a decision. And there's something here that you're keeping to yourself. Why is the High Priestess here? What are you keeping to yourself, Taurus? The High Priestess is quiet. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Wands and the Knight of Cups. There could have been a sudden change, but something here is ending if it hasn't ended already. And there's secrets here. 
I'm seeing, I'm feeling like someone's watching you from a distance. There's definitely new love coming into your energy and um, whoever this particular person is, they're feeling confused because I'm seeing you feeling defensive, guarded. Um, you're not backing down. You could be getting um, internet messages or text messages from someone that this could be something that you're keeping to yourself. We have the devil and the six of pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here? The Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Emperor Aries Energy. There's a lot of pain around someone that's in your energy. There's a lot of pain coming off of this. Why is the Devil here? This is someone that could be very controlling. This person's coming back wanting a new beginning with you. And this is something happening very quickly here. A lot of messages going back and forth. Okay, so... some more cards and then I'm seeing you here Queen of Pentacles male or female The lovers is a choice. It's also Gemini energy, and there's a karmic wheel here. I'm seeing you being choiced with um, the choice being presented to you to get back on the karmic wheel because someone's showing up here in, in your energy that wants to either stay or come back. But this is a karmic wheel, and it's a choice you have to make that I'm seeing you up in your head about. You can either get off of the karmic wheel, or you can go around again with this person. It's your choice. So, the King of Swords has to do with a decision which I'm seeing right here a decision that you need to make why is the king of swords here I'm feeling like if you go back to this person that's showing up as controlling and they show up as the devil it's a karmic wheel that it's just going to the same story is going to repeat itself with this person judgment. Your decision has to do with making a judgment call. This, um, this is a major arcana. This has to do with your life. What is your judgment call here? Do you want to end? Ending? This is Scorpio energy. Do you want to walk through a new door or the old door? Strength. It's a hard decision to make for you. You are the Empress. So then we end here with the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? I'm 
I'm seeing a lot of financial gain and a lot of abundance and celebration. This could be a new job or you could be moving up in a company, getting a raise. Something about your finances going up. The Seven of Swords. The Empress. And the Tower. There's something here that you're keeping to yourself and I can't quite uncover it, Taurus. Why is the, I feel like this choice that you need to make is going to make someone angry. And so Spirit is telling you to look at the bigger picture. Twice. Look at the bigger picture. You could be dealing with a Pisces. <coughs> this hangman also talks about being a victim, feeling like a victim in some area of your life. And I feel like you're taking action and taking control. There's a lot of financial gain here, but you're kind of, you're moving into the unknown. And the unknown is looking pretty good to me, Taurus. You being independent and, um... It brings in a lot of financial gain into your energy because luck is on your side right now. Okay, so let's um, grab just a couple Kipper cards here. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? We have courtship and marriage. See, so you have the choice between two different people. What does Taurus need to know? And family room. There may be a discussion that you need to have, but keep in mind with the devil showing up and false person, Someone could be wearing a false mask, but you are the empress. And so, I mean, your energy in the center of that reading was showing up as the high priestess. You know. Okay. Advice for Taurus spirits. What should advice does Taurus need? What does Taurus need to know? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. What does Taurus need to know? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And there's huge double energy here of codependency and control. And again, retreat and honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday bliss together. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there's a need for a getaway here. Maybe just the two of you, you and your person, a getaway. Um, having a conversation with family room. And let me get your moonology cards, Taurus. Advice for Taurus spirits. Communication is key. Your dreams need a practical plan. Bring love into the situation. A personal issue reaches resolution. And... A fiery climax approaches, and on the bottom of the deck, don't let pride get in your way. 
Okay, Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys for all of your beautiful comments and liking and subscribing. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.